Okay, guys. Okay, so just just a picture. Picture this, guys. Picture this. Okay, picture is 4 a.m. You just had a great game of Rainbow playing with your one friend that was up with you. Okay, and you're about to go to sleep, right? Everything's fine. You brush your teeth. You go take a shit. You do whatever the fuck you gotta do. Okay, right? And you freaking go back to your bed, and your stomach is like, no. You, you ain't going to sleep, okay? That, that's, that's basically, that's my, it's my stomach, okay? And you know what? It keeps you up for five hours. Ah, <sighs> man. Life, dude. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Red Flame Thrower here. Welcome back to another... A pretty crazy video. Today, we are back and better than ever. And today, we're going to be doing our first ever top five zombies video bros first ever top five for this channel so i'm really excited to do this and start a cool top five series guys so for the first top five we're going to be doing on this channel we are going to be doing top five fun zombie challenges to do in any call of duty so that means world at war um black ops 1 black ops 2 black ops 3 um excluding advanced warfare because um <clears throat> advanced warfare shit but anyways guys um let's get right into it okay guys coming in our top five spot we got the first room challenge now this challenge is pretty straightforward it's literally in the name first room challenge so all you want to do is stay in the first room and just survive to the highest round now this, this challenge may seem pretty easy when you hear it, the first room challenge, but in reality, it's really not. I've tried it, YouTubers have tried it, trust me guys, it's really, really hard depending on which map you are in. So, their eyes and drag, Shadows of Evil, you already got two bosses spawning, you got the Margo and Shadows of Evil, you got the Panzer spawning in on their eyes and drag, which is pretty hard, don't get me wrong, it's really, really hard. There was a championship at ZWC, which is Zombie World Championship. And they were having a hard time trying to do the Drys of Drag first room challenge. And it was it was really hard because they couldn't use gobble gums. And gobble gums are literally the main thing into surviving in Black Ops 3. If you don't use your three quick revives right and your training skills, then you're probably just as good as dead. Okay guys, coming into our top four spot, we got the 3-2-1 challenge. So how this challenge works is that you only got three perks you could use, only two guns you could use, and out of those two guns, you could only pack a punch once. So this kind of requires you to think a little bit depending on what map you're playing on and like what gun you get. So if you're playing on a hard map, I suggest you get Juggernaut, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. But if you're playing on a map where you're kind of just running around and you have to train, then Stamina, Widow's Wine, and Electric Cherry to train. So it really depends on which map and what you're doing in order to survive on the map. Um, for the guns, it depends on which one's your best gun. You could get a really bad gun, and you could get a really good gun. So, maybe pack punching your really bad gun could be better for you, because you could have a really bad gun turn into a good gun, and then have a decently good gun, and then you could get on with your game. So basically, this challenge just requires you to think ahead, and kind of plan on which perks you're gonna get depending on the map, and which gun you should pack punch. So guys, this is gonna be coming into our top 4 spot. Let's get into our top 3 spot. Coming into our top 3 spot, we got... The one hand controller and one hand keyboard challenge. Now, I'm not really sure if I created this challenge. Just for a disclaimer, guys, I got inspiration from two zombie YouTubers, which was Lonely Mailbox and Mr. T Lex5. Shout out to you. I have a video on my channel that shows me doing this challenge. So, basically, how this challenge works is you have a controller and you have a keyboard, and you basically just hook up your controller to your computer. By the way, guys, this only works on PC. So, you have the right side of your controller, which is R3, yeah, like R3 moving around, or not moving around, by looking around, and just um, jumping, reloading, switching guns, and knifing, and then for your keyboard side, it's literally just moving around, running, jumping, so it works either way for jumping, I guess, on um, either um, controllers or keyboards, so you should be fine with that, so basically, you just, you play like that, and you just have to survive and try to get to a really high round and survive. So that's coming into our top three spot. Let's get into our top two spot. Coming into our top two spot, we got the box roulette challenge. Now this challenge is pretty simple. How you do it basically is you first spawn into a game and you want to find the nearest box as fast as possible. Once you find it as fast as possible, you go up to the box, you get a weapon. And when you get that weapon, you have to use it for that entire round. 
once you finish that round you want to go back to the box and replace whatever's in the box with the one you had last round and you keep on repeating the same process so one round you have another weapon another round you have another weapon and it keeps on going so on and so on until you get into a high round now this challenge is kind of like the three to one challenge it's like you could have a really good gun and you could have a really bad gun and then it kind of just like goes back and forth like one round you can have a ray gun mark ii and then a thunder gun and then another round you can just get the pharaoh this challenge could be very difficult if you don't have pack a punch to actually help you out and gobble gums so you just have to wish for the best and try to get the best guns as you can and survive with that so that's going to be coming in our top two spot and let's get down to the number one spot guys guys and grills the number one spot is going to be the two box challenge Okay, by far, this has to be my favorite challenge just because how simple it is and how fun it is just put together. And just honestly, it's just, it's so fun. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So how this challenge works is literally you go up to a box, you open the box, and the first two weapons that come out are the two weapons you have to use the entire game. And it's just so fun. You can pack a puncher, you can double pack a puncher, you can do anything with those weapons. You just can't get any other weapon. You only have to use those weapons and that's it. And that's how fun it is. And literally you can do this on any map. And that's why I love it. Okay guys, it's going to be the end of the video. I did hope you guys enjoy. Guys, we are really close to 100 subscribers. So if we could just hit the milestone, that would be great. Uh, by the way, if we get 5 likes on this video, I will show a tutorial on how to do the one hand challenge um, for the one hand challenge for keyboard and controller. So if you guys really want to see how to do that, then I will post a tutorial. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> a peace, bros.